For today's episode, we're going to be doing a DIY interior refresh for the E46. We're going to be removing the old scratched up soft plastic and we're going to give it a nice new coat of paint. Look at how nice the car looks with its uh, summer setup. Let me just address this. I look like I'm dead and I sound like I am from The Walking Dead. I've been sick for a bit over a week now and uh, it's not getting better. But it's time to fix one of BMW's biggest mistakes. And that is <laughs> the soft plastic material is... Uh, well, awful when it becomes old like this. You can see it's just mines in awful condition. So today we're going to be fixing the, hopefully this as well, but today we're going to be fixing all of the plastic, the center console plastic. So these things and everything down here, because these look awful. Even though your boy's very, very close to death, to death I can't even speak uh, this is what I got so I got some gloves to do glove things uh, I've got this bootleg ass Polish <laughs> gone bootleg ass Polish auto bumper uh, acrylic spray which is uh, essentially just made for well plastics and uh, you know obviously it says auto bumper but I would imagine it's talking about plastics like these uh, which should, in theory, absolutely work for my scuffed interior plastics. Look at it, it's so awful. Except the trim, oh, the trim's so nice. So we should have the tools to, uh, you know, be successful, but I've got doubts about my skills. If I don't die midway through the job because of a lack of uh, air intake into my nostril. I've got some, uh, some hand paper as well. We gotta remove the Epic cup holders which I absolutely love ignore the absurdly long screwdriver there we go beautiful I actually have no idea what I'm how to disassemble this I'm just kind of winging it it's, it's it really shouldn't be too hard hopefully we don't find anything surprising in here like negative surprise. <laughs> right, there goes the rear trim piece. Okay, there we go. First trim piece is ready to be painted. Oh, is it really supposed to be that easy? Like the whole thing just kind of disintegrates immediately? What? Yeah, so this shit's not supposed to actually just pull out by itself there's supposed to be two more screws screws a bit of finagling needed there but there we go that's the full you can see where one of the screws is a very tiny torx absolutely everything is with screws so i'm very i can't say the word screw screw the options trim module thing with a lot of options that's pretty cool and so there are two screws Again, I can't say it, man. I can't say the word screw. And there we go. There we go. And there we go. The interior is, well, quite dirty. One last look at these things. Awful. Look at it, man. This will absolutely change the way the car looks. 100% way to freshen up the vibe of the BMW. This side is pretty bad. This side, dirty and like, yeah, yeah. Get your girlfriend to do the hard parts. You can see it's uh, kind of starting to show like normal plastic, not the soft shit. I can actually feel the sandpaper heating up a lot. So 
So this part is absolutely awful, man. Absolutely awful. Oh, well, there goes that. Whatever. So this part is absolutely awful. It's, it's only this has been taking like at least 30 minutes. But look at this, man. This, I know this will look ri ridiculous, but I've got this wire brush and I'm, this genuinely only works with the wire, wire, with a wire brush. Otherwise it's just really not doing anything. It's really caked on there, man. it's a different day I uh, got some more tools uh, I'm going to show you why I need Rome spray and uh, more more shit man more things to do right more oh okay ignore the fact that I look even worse it was a hard night a lot of mucus whatever so uh, it's a different day uh, the scrubbing the sanding took way too long last night and I decided I'm going to paint it tomorrow so essentially today only a tiny bit left if we focus you can see like it's awful here awful like this thing barely comes out as well it's uh, some a bit on the edges here as well uh, you know I invested a lot of time into this so I want it to be good also yeah this is from yesterday's uh, scrubbing look at that here we are we're done with the scrubbing uh, Essentially, we may or may not have gone overboard, so uh, the finish might not be too good. Uh, ignore this, I uh, tried to see if the, the greaser I have will work. We might have gone a bit overboard, uh, scratched this up way too much, but it is what it is. We'll see what's going to happen uh, after we paint them. One thing of note, this was broken, I don't know if I said, but this thing was broken. It's now semi-broken. It's... Um, it stays closed before it will just stay open it will couldn't close and I jerry rigged it to kind of work I broke this so last part let's clean this off we gotta get them uh, nice and clean and prepped for the painting So, for the cleaning part, I've got uh, a boot leg, rubbing alcohol, gloves, so my uh, hand sweat doesn't get in, doesn't contaminate the plastic, and uh, a semi-clean microfiber uh, towel. And uh, we're done. These are essentially clean, I guess. We'll see how clean they are. Surface is prepped. Everything is good. The next step is to try our hands at painting, which is uh, going to be very interesting. So here they are, uh, so I think we definitely went a bit overboard with the scrubbing, um, it does look relatively okay, especially on camera, but you know, the center console actually came out the best, as you can see it's uh, really not that bad, uh, oh man, I didn't clean too well in there, I missed, I missed these grooves to, to clean these grooves. I did clean these look as you can see they are nice but I miss the rear ones oh my god that thing is actually the worst these thing these two cubbies the <clears throat> the small glove cubby thing and the this thing um, these did not uh, 
come out too well. Uh, I still think they're better than before. It's like, you know, it, it is better, but as you can see, the silver parts are repainted. That's why I bought that uh, silver, the chrome paint, but they're not too well painted. As you can see, when you zoom in, it's not too well, but from afar, it's good and uh, still better than before. Parts uh, actually came out very nice, but it was not super scratched up. So uh, yeah, this one actually looks very nice. I would say the painting was, is, you know, you would expect from uh, from me and my channel. Extremely scuffed. <laughs> actually want to disassemble this broken part and try and maybe um, glue it back onto the car. So it kind of worked actually. Yeah, it's on there. I've got some like, yeah, you can see it's, uh, yeah. Uh, I've got some like serious ass glue that kind of works. So uh, yeah, this thing is pretty solid on there. Obviously it won't really hold anything, but it's better to be on the car than on the, the trim piece. I decided to paint this thing as well for focus. So uh, this essentially sits like this. And as you can see, it's, it really won't match the the finish won't match and I've already invested a lot of time into this so why don't let's just make it you know better I shall paint the ashtrays as well car looks ridiculous right now this looks like the junkyardiest thing I've ever seen man <laughs> let's get to work because uh, I had some issues with removing it yep this long ass screwdriver actually is quite comfortable for this for these things you can already see it's much nicer. That still works. My little ghetto fix works. I can already see it's looking much nicer. Oh man, it looks nice. Last detail. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Oh wow, that looks so much nicer. You can see it's a bit rough here, but oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Like this is uh, a bit more comparable uh, to before, but oh, that's super clean. Super clean. Oh, yes, baby, I'm happy. You see, much nicer. Okay. Ooh, fresh. Also repainted. What am I missing? What did I forget to assemble? I missed these two, but they don't appear to be connected to anything. That is very peculiar, very interesting, very peculiarly interesting. What are these? These are probably something related to the SMG, XSMG. Ooh, clean. Not so clean. And then the final pieces, much nicer. Only took me two days. <laughs> <laughs>